Have you ever wondered how sounds can reprogram your brain to boost focus, reduce stress, or even attract more luck? Imagine if you could fine-tune your mind just like tuning a radio station. Binaural beats and isochronic tones claim to do exactly that. But which one actually works? And more importantly, how can you use them to transform your life? Sounds like science fiction. Well, science has already proven this to be real. Today, we're diving into binaural beats and isochronic tones, breaking down how they impact the brain and how you can use them to enhance your mental performance. Stick around until the end because I'm going to reveal how these frequencies affect your brain, which one is more powerful, and how you can use them to unlock your full mental potential. Plus, I have a special gift for you at the end of this video, so get ready. What you're about to learn could completely change the way you think. Imagine putting on your headphones and hearing two, slightly different tones in each ear. At first it just sounds like an unusual audio effect, but then, something incredible happens inside your brain. It generates a third frequency called a binaural beat, and that's where the magic begins. Binaural beats work through a process called frequency following response. When you listen to one tone in one ear and a slightly different tone in the other, your brain perceives the difference and creates a new frequency. This frequency directly influences brainwave activity. For example, if you hear a 300 Hz tone in your left ear and a 310 Hz tone in your right, your brain produces a beat of 10 Hz, corresponding to the alpha state, which is associated with relaxation and focus. Research has shown that binaural beats can synchronize brain waves, leading to improved concentration, relaxation, and even deep meditation. But what does that mean in practical terms? It means you can hack your brain to sleep better, learn faster, and boost your creativity. Imagine absorbing new information with ease. Sounds amazing, right? Scientific Basis Studies published in the Journal of Cognitive Neuroscience have shown that listening to binaural beats at the right frequency can induce states of relaxation and concentration similar to those achieved through meditation. A groundbreaking study by Dr. Gerald Oster in the 1970 was one of the first to validate this phenomenon. Proven benefits, reduces stress and anxiety and studies show lower cortisol levels, enhances focus and productivity, is great for studying and work, improves sleep quality, delta frequencies help with deep sleep, how to use headphones are mandatory for the binaural effect to work, choose the right frequency for your goal, theta for creativity, alpha for focus, delta for sleep, recommended time, at least 7 to 30 minutes for best results. But before you rush to listen to any binaural audio, remember, they only work with headphones and need time to take effect on the brain. So does that make them the best option? Now let's talk about isochronic tones which work in a completely different way. These are evenly spaced pulses of sound played at a single tone, creating a rhythmic pattern that directly stimulates the brain without the need for headphones. Imagine a steady rhythmic beat, like the ticking of a perfectly timed clock, guiding your brain into a new mental state. Your brain instantly responds, syncing its activity to the emitted frequency, without needing to process two different tones. A study published in the International Journal of Psychophysiology found that isochronic tones can effectively influence brainwave activity, increasing alertness, and even improving memory retention. Proven benefits enhances learning ability, increases alertness and energy levels aids in pain relief and emotional balance. How to use no headphones needed, but they can enhance the effect. Higher frequencies like beta and gamma are great for focus and mental performance. Lower frequencies like theta and delta are ideal for relaxation. Recommended time at least 20 minutes per session. The key advantage of isochronic tones is that they are more intense and can have a faster impact. Some people report feeling the effects almost immediately, whereas binaural beats may take longer to work. But does that make them better? So, the big question, which one is better for you? If you're looking for a deep immersive effect, binaural beats are ideal, but they require headphones. If you prefer convenience and faster effects, isochronic tones might be the better choice. Both have incredible benefits and can even be used together for maximum impact. The best choice depends on your goals. Want to enter a deep meditative state or improve sleep? Binaural beats are the way to go. Need a quick boost in focus and productivity? Isochronic tones are more effective. Don't like wearing headphones? Isochronic tones are the perfect solution. 
prefer a subtle and gradual approach, stick with binaural beats. The truth is, both have powerful effects that can be combined for even greater results. But here's the real secret, the right frequency, and that's where the genius wave comes in. Pro tip, how to maximize the benefits. If you want a scientifically backed method to enhance your brain power, I highly recommend trying the Genius Wave, a program designed based on neuroscience to stimulate the right brainwave frequencies and unlock your cognitive potential. The link is in the description if you want to learn more and start optimizing your mind today. The Genius Wave was developed using research on brainwaves and combines the best frequencies for enhancing creativity, learning, relaxation, and peak productivity. It doesn't just use the right frequencies, it uses the perfect combination for real results. If you're ready to experience this technology and take your brain to the next level, I've left the official link in the description. Now tell me, have you ever used binaural beats or isochronic tones? What was your experience? Drop a comment below, I want to hear your thoughts. Hey Thrivers, subscribe now, hit like and share this video. Stay curious, stay thriving and I'll see you in the next one.